the fanciest place in Trumso, you would never suspect it being right here. Now, this is the most expensive restaurant in Trumso, and trust me when I say everything in here is very extravagant and overly posh. But it's really awesome. Here's wine cellar back here. All types of wines. Nice. the menu. Got some chefs over here cooking it up nice and big. Yeah, it's pretty good that go over here. So she just explained all of the different things for us that it's all locally formed and uh, the different places they came from. It's pretty cool that you know all these different types of meat here. Chefs in the back cooking up stuff. Nah, I got. I don't want to do that. Every time, every time. I love places that let you see what the chefs are cooking right in front of you. <laughs> Zuno, this is amazing though. He's, he's, cur he's curating it right now. I got him. So she just explained these dogs have, this is a ketchup dispenser and they added nothing to the sauce. This is 98% veal, crazy. These are gonna be with the custom bread on it. And we got, look at the size right here. This is the 18 course menu, and you can see all the different stages right there. You digging it? They had this sourdough bread that was really hearty and filling, but inside was so soft and buttery. It was so good. She's just a reviewer. Oh, she's coming back. Okay, I was about to say. This is our ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is called Skog in Rueda in Norwegian. It's made, this is closest to you. Uh, and it's made with shrimps. And uh, on, on the top, this green. Anything she was saying. It was just one of the people the. I noticed at this point that each plate for each dish was actually a different style, which is kind of cool. Not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite desserts or dishes in this whole place. This thing was so tasty, and the amount of flavor in these herb sorbet was immense. Could be one of the best things, who knows? Recording the recording. Okay guys, we're about to throw down and then I'll watch you. She's about to test it out right here. It's so soft. Like a baby's bottom. She just finished 12 out of 18 and she is already full. Ties full, guys. She couldn't eat one more bite. Please. Bring it on, okay? Three hours in. They made a sorbet with herbs. That was delicious. Three hours in. We're still eating, okay? It's like the eating competition in here. Just eat the chips and don't eat this uh, thing underneath. It's just uh, for decoration. For decoration. Guys, I'll take it. <laughs> no. Don't touch it. Smells good as hell. And, uh, the sauce is made. Uh, the sauce is made from a homemade raspberry uh, vinegar that you make. And raspberry it's vinegar. vinegar. Ooh. Can you? You have as you see videos here yeah. and everything else. It's time we get a plate. It, it's a different, complete style of plate. Mm. And look at this carbon fiber knife. Oh, Clean with the B on there. <laughs> look at these beautiful design plates. Like you can't get this anywhere else. And the thing to the dessert to accommodate for it. Ooh. So it's a blue mild cheese, mild cheese from uh, Helgeland from Trufors. Uh, that we have made like an ice cream on the top you have some fermented blueberries from one there. Oh, okay. Most accidents become good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in time. <laughs> it was one of uh, when we had our last apprentice we had in uh, in Buda. We had a restaurant in Buda in 2015. She made, she was, in somehow she was looking, she was mixing the dill and the caramel. We don't know why or how, but she made a mistake. So it's, uh, it is the, uh, this is what become of that. She tries so it. This is so good. Look at these fancy plates. Ooh, all black, shiny. Uh, 
then it's uh, strawberries from last year that we have made the puree of, and also some of them are dried under the ice cream with some uh, mandel crumble, uh, vanilla ice cream of course, and the rhubarb. Final dessert. Look at this. Overall, I really like Restaurant Smack. I'd have to give it overall, I'd say an A minus. And honestly, there's another very bougie prestige place here in Trumpso called Emma's, and I really like their kind of genesis qua with stuff. The mix of flavors is really why I would say this place is like on point like you know what i mean some of those pairings were really really phenomenal in terms of like your taste buds and getting that like great flavor combination so yeah overall you know any type of place where you have more than i'd say 10 meals 10 10 different servings of different things you're gonna probably like it because you know the chef knows how to cook for you know that type of palate i would just say you know emma's i think had a slight drain on top of it Especially considering the the small difference in price in terms of like, you know, the the economy of it. Overall, really like this place. Would recommend it if you are in Trumpso. As always, subscribe to the channel, hit the comments, and peace.